Hey everybody, welcome back to the Joe Rockstar channel. I felt bad about the way I left you hanging in the last video. For those of you who missed it, check it out. Ride 1 of the 2017 Amra Motor City Off-Road Championship Series brought together some of the best riders in Arizona for a race through Cinders and Flagstaff. I was a little fish in this big pond, but even the most talented riders can make mistakes. Now this is a long video and I apologize to those of you who can't make it through the whole thing, but it is difficult to whittle down three hours of footage into a five minute video. Don't worry, I'll be there to keep you company and provide commentary throughout. Now where did we leave off in the last video? Oh that's right, I remember. I was really excited that I had a good start off the line. Running in second for a whole 30 seconds had me thinking I had a real shot, and then disaster struck. Now I can't tell you why I blew that turn. I've watched this video a hundred times and have no idea, but what I am proud of is the charge I made to move back up a few spots. Now this is my third Amber race and I feel I can say these races aren't just about skillful riding. There's a whole separate internal aspect to it. It's mental physical. The biggest problems I am having aren't from a huge lack of riding skill, but from the lack of endurance. These races are long. They are a roller coaster of emotional and physical highs and lows. Just when you feel like you're doing well, a small mistake will have you picking up a 250 pound bike and remounting it.
Picking up from a fall is when fatigue hits me the hardest. Physical exhaustion can have a harsh effect on your state of mind as well. Each fall or near crash is a punch in the gut. It slows you down and it drains your confidence and energy. When you get past while you're picking up the bike, it can be very discouraging. Each time a rider gets by me, I feel further and further from the finish line. Then, it's no longer a race. It's a struggle just to finish. For several minutes it can feel like this, and it's all you can do just to stay upright. Then, after a few good turns and a speedy straightaway, I get a burst of energy and a mental high, but it never lasts. On the course there are many obstacles, blind turns and deep sand all trying to take you down. On top of that, there's blinding dust. As if that's not difficult enough, sometimes the course markings can be sparse, and you can't tell if you're still on the course or if you're lost. The only thing to do is to push on and fight the urge to sit down and ride slow. In this race, I kept losing that fight. Oh, and did I mention the other danger on the course? Other riders. I got rear-ended on this hill climb. Already exhausted, this was just the push I needed to make me give in to my weakness and rest. So, they make you go back down and start over again if you can't make it up. I don't know how I'm going to muster up the strength to try that again. But again, the emotional roller coaster that is racing Amram takes you back up.
Well, now that all the stress of winning is gone, <laughs> have some fun. Try to learn how to ride the sandbar. Uh, uh, passed by a guy in pink. Now the second lap's always better because you've seen the worst obstacles the course has to offer. Yeah, sure, you can still go down, and you probably will. But the confidence level is so much higher. second lap, I cut my time from the first lap nearly in half. And as I started going faster and faster, my second wind really kicked in, and I had the energy to go the distance. Too bad my action cam didn't. The batteries would die before the finish line. So just to let you guys know, I finished ninth. Ninth out of about 13 riders in the uh, C40 and over class. Now, if you're still here, thanks a lot for watching and sticking around for the whole video. I want to remind you guys to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And again, for those of you who'd like to sponsor me, I'd really appreciate it. Please go to my website, www.joerockstar.com, and click Become a Rockstar. That'll take you to my Patreon page. Here, you can select whatever level of pledge amount you can afford. Now, I only charge per race not per video. And you can cancel at any time. So if you'd just like to make a one-time donation, pledge the amount you'd like to donate. And then as soon as I post the next race video, you'll be charged and then cancel your pledge. And that's all there is to it. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for your generosity. And I'll see you next time.